Vehicle control initialized. Hello there, comrades and cannon fodder. It's Devoid here. I've got a 1v1 multiplayer game on Bucharest map for you. I'm using Russia and my opponent's using England for this game. And as my uh, usual habit at the moment, I send infantry. Usually I try to head for the enemy oil derrick, uh, the closest to the enemy, the one they're going to go for. Look, you see, their engineer's going first, so... Um, yeah, I couldn't have got there any quicker, I don't, more quickly, I don't think, and he's got him protected well, so there's very little I can do there. I have defeated these two guys, but now my three infantry are going to be, yeah, and now my engineers moved too far, and my opponent has sent this rifle look to try and head off, looks possibly like an engineer hunter, because he's got his engineer in a shift command to move back look to his base so in case I'm doing something similar or sending my engineer home afterwards that's probably what this guy's for he's taken a few stray shots but yeah <laughs> he didn't have any luck sadly um, yeah I'm detonating barrels clearing out that um, usual build order from me looks like the same from my opponent with just started to build our war factories. Uh, I've got a few scouts heading out. Yeah, a few rifle guards. That's where I place them. I should be doing... Yeah, there we go. Look, these are rifle guards taking up positions. They should do um, by now. To be fair, the first rifles and rocket troops I build at the two-minute mark, I usually post the first few rifles um, that are trained at that point. I usually post them to the map edges and stuff. And the way my opponent here has got a couple of riflemen instead of just one is actually it's a good idea because you... Um, if I destroy one, and then you can often miss that, especially if I kill this rifle guard while there's combat going on, you won't hear it. And I'm attacking his oil derrick here. Now he's trying to bring forces forward, but he hasn't actually got a vehicle. So once the view range from that goes, he doesn't want to be advancing. I should have defeated him there, but I just assumed he'd have had a scout vehicle. I guess he's building ore trucks pretty rapidly. He's got, we've got five each though, so he's gone for, um, he's only got two refineries, look. I don't think he's sold one because there are no technicians. So he's just gone for two refineries, but he's got as many ore trucks because it looks like he's gone without a scout vehicle and built ore trucks from his war factory straight away. And now he has got tanks and allied tanks built quickly. So as long as he gets to this point, he's okay. And he has done without a scout vehicle, but it hasn't, you know, caused him any problems. He stayed back and set up a decent defensive position. Now, he's sent his first tank out. Look, that's on a long journey. Probably on attack all stance. And I'm sending rifles in. Look, I'm trying to find out placement of some enemy structures and things. Oh, they've got him. Yeah, my opponent's got their MCV. I've got mine set up at the first expansion. And I'm soon to place my um, refinery. This tank. He's actually got it out of trouble there. Just. It's only a lone tank, strange. But, yeah, why not go and see what's going on? Check out the first expansion point, why not? Um, here we are, I'm at 12,000 army value, my opponent's at 10,000 army value. And it looks like I'm making a grenadier drop. Yeah, there we go, it looks like I'm training five. There's four, five, yeah. And there's the APC, I'm moving out with an MCV. I've got this fairly well protected, they're snug. But 
this is moving forward and there's very little protecting it. I've got a 13,000 army value, 14. My opponent's got 12,000. I'm at 15, he's at 13. Um, and here we go. My grenadier drop has actually scouted for me. It needs to... I don't want to lose it in combat. It needs to get out of there. Um, and I'm protecting this one far more... Um, you know, with far more units. And here he, here he goes, he's hit here, and he's got my newest ore truck and destroyed it. The refinery will soon go. I've got to get that MCV out of there. And because I'm rushing, it's actually shift commanded to go over there, look. And then to here, where I want it. But my grenadier drop has made his way here. Now we're at 18,000 army value to me, 16,000 to my opponent, so he's... Um, taking control of the game with a slightly smaller army and I'm having just to do something I'm sending this just to do something in response because look you know I'm I'm not reacting correctly uh, I've got a small group down here that's good and he's defended his expansion well this one is vulnerable but here we go I've got my grenadier drop um, here we go I've got shift command to attack the power plants so he's in low power now and I'm not getting excellent screening from them from that sadly they nearly got the next power plant but he's in very low power mode and he's sent a force here a flanking force and you see because there's combat and that going on I probably not noticed that I was busy with my gren grenadier drop so it's doubtful that I've noticed I need to you need to check your rifle guards and see if they've been killed and if they have get someone there quickly to check it out and get some units in place because it looks like I'm still oblivious look I'm unaware of what's going to hit me here and he's walked straight past my rifle guard it's because he timed it very well um, so here we go, um, there's this attack, he's hit my power plant, we're both in low power, now he's destroyed a second and he's backing away because he knows my response is here now. I saved my APC, so yeah he's backing away and I should get half of this and send it over here, but I thought it was a substantial force, so uh, I wanted to make sure <laughs> that it was dealt with. And I, I'm at 23,000, my opponent's at 22,000 army value and there we go I've wiped most of that out although a small group did make it out of there and he's already ordered them on an eco raid very nice very nice uh, orders and we've got a couple of enemy groups here now I'm at 23,000 he's at 22 so we're staying at the same difference in army value but I'm completely on the defensive let's check out the power situation my opponents recovered I have not and he's attacking my power plants. I'm in a very bad situation for power. I've lost an ore truck there. A second ore truck. This one's being saved. I'm about to lose a third by the looks of it. Um, but now I've split my force. I can deal with this. This is a puny little force. And these guys are protecting what's to be my next expansion. So yeah, I've lost one, two, three. About at least three ore trucks, if not four and I'm in low power, this is a bad situation, and I knew my army size was okay, but with this power mode, it's low power mode for so long, it's very bad. Now we're at 23,000 army value each, my opponents just dropped to 22 because I'm killing these guys and running them down, and I thought, I've got to strike back, so I've set up an attack to hit his expansion here. And I'm distracting him by using this force, and I thought this might be strong enough to actually match him in battle because of the units I defeated during the attack on my base <clears throat> but he's used the mobility of his medium tanks to crush all my infantry and I'm losing my APC so I've lost that very bad now I've overrun his expansion and he's had to retreat with this but it, it's like oh I've got three ore trucks there that's nice so it was a nice counter attack but it's left me at 8,000 army value and my opponent at 21,000 army value just because it was such a decisive defeat here and he could even train mechanics and take some of these husks back and I would start with the heavy tanks if I was him but it doesn't look like he's thought of it now it's something it's spur of the moment so but I wanted to check if there was a vulnerable expansion and there wasn't
he retreated with his MCV back this way, so there was no expansion to hit here. So I've sent this force around to go on a flanking attack. Now, I knew it was going to take a while to get there, so, you know, but I thought, I've, I don't want them just to run into an enemy force and die. I'll at least send them a shady route around the edge of the map, and he's hit my newest expansion again, as I've got it set up. Um, and I didn't check. I've got three ore trucks, but my opponent's only got four, so I've, I've not done bad with that counter-attack. And now we've lost those ore trucks. And I'm trying to respond. Army value 14,000 from me, 26,000 from my opponent, and it's the artillery that's decisive in this, in, in this situation. Now, he's actually backed off. Now, thankfully, he's backed off. That's bought me time, and now I'm hitting him here but he was ready straight away and placed a pillbox so that's stripping down my troops cutting them down nicely but I can get rid of that and I thought right these guys are in trouble but I'll target the service depot and I at least got rid of that now I'm scatter command on my troops because I knew he was going to try and run me over there's a tank gone he just now there's another one gone and I thought I'd send this tank on a little eco raid myself, but these guys are ready. He kind of like, it was like he knew that was perfectly placed. And now he's coming back as I'm trying to move into position. Now I've got 11, 12, 11, down to 10 grand now, 8, and my opponent's at 28 grand army. So this artillery is too decisive, and now he's not going to make the mistake of backing off. He knows he can just crush me. So that's it, it's kind of, and these guys have been idle, they could have been destroying all this in the meantime, but, you know, it was a defensive struggle for far too long, and I shouldn't have let him dictate the terms of engagement at the start so much like I did, and I did attack back, I cleared his expansion, and he's not moved over this side of the map, and I actually just attacked him here, but, yeah, it's just not enough, I didn't do enough, and I didn't do it early enough, so sadly, it's led to this. But I'm trying, I thought I'll send my second MCV, the home base one, round behind his army where it's advancing because he won't expect me to go this way, I don't think. So, uh, and then I thought, um, I'll, between them, I'll set, keep one set up while I'm building um, a radar dome, but it's going to take too long because of the power situation. So I've set this one up and I'll pack that one away and move it to another location. Um, so what I'm trying to do is build a, power, a radar dome and uh, keep these two construction yards alive. Now if I can get a radar dome and a barracks close to the enemy and buy a bit of breathing time I might be able to take control of his money supply. That's what I was thinking. It's not over yet and this is my last effort. I just didn't know where to commit my units and look he found my MCV. It ran over four guys. It actually won that engagement. Nice. Good on him. But, like I say, look, these are my units, and I didn't know where to engage against him. And um, here we go. That's it. This guy's running. Uh, and that means I can't pack this one up, but I am building some engineers. This guy's run. I've lost everything, and I couldn't build the radar dome, because once they've destroyed the refinery and structures like that, once they're destroyed, the ability to build the higher level structures, you can't build them anymore. You lose the ability to do so. Uh, if you haven't got a, a refinery, you can't build a war factory, for example. And once all those structures are gone, my radar dome uh, stopped, stopped building. And that was the end of my um, my effort to win, my last effort. But I've still got my oil derrick, that's cool. Um, but I'll go through the graphs and charts, and I've got my engineers on the move and stuff, but the helicopters just find them all and destroy them. It's over, as, as you know. But there's the army graph. We were even, look. I was just on too much of a defensive struggle and re a counter-attack too late here and here. It was too late that I did that. And there's my massive drop in, um, in army value. Look on that graph. You know, that's a big drop in value. And I was just like, it was a defensive struggle from the start. I shouldn't have done that. Should have done a lot better and been more aggressive. My Grendrop was nice, though. That wasn't too bad. But then my power was hit. That that crippled me. I was in low power for longer than my opponent. Not good. Not good. Right, here's the earnings graph. That's quite nice. Look, but he had a drop in earnings. That must be my uh, eco raid here. And then attack here as well. Must have uh, interfered with his income. So that's not bad, causing a drop like that.
Uh, my opponent's finishing army. He's got Black Hawks, artillery, tanks. He's got a very good army. It's an army group. More than a few div couple of divisions there as an army group. Right, combat chart. I killed 134. My opponent killed 249. He's got a 38,000 army value. Solid. I lost 28 structures and I only killed... Uh, my opponent only lost 7. At, at least it's something. Uh, destroyed 38,000 of my opponent's assets. My opponent destroyed 74,000 of my assets. Lovely. Uh, that's enough of the combat chart. Support powers, none are in effect because he's allies and the helipad doesn't give you support powers. He needs the uh, tech center or, or the chronosphere or whatever to get the support powers um, with allies. Um, production, he's still building pillboxes and right infantry because I did kill his service depot so that meant he's not building tanks he should have churned out light tanks but he forgot and he didn't need to he's still got a massive army and it meant he could build other things anyway he probably started churning out artillery or something oh no look there are light tanks there so he did build some fair enough um, I earned 77,000 my opponent earned 103,000 and he did finish up with seven ore trucks but we've both got four grand. In fact, I've not nearly five grand left. It's a shame. It's a shame to end with cash like that. I'd much rather invest it in units and fight with them. But here's the basics. Uh, I've got 27 actions per minute. My opponent's at 29. Um, there you go. There's the basics. I'm going to add a second replay to this post. Just so there's some more content for my viewers. Um, so I'll move straight on to that now. Battle control terminated. Battle control um, and this is a 1v1 multiplayer game on Scorched Earth map. And for this one I'm using Russia and my opponent's using France for this game. We've got a few spectators this time um, for this one. And there's the uh, infantry infantry moving out straight away. Now, my opponent didn't send his um, engineer first, so he's not vulnerable to rifle scouts. Those two guys missed each other, but that's an interesting route to, uh, to take. He's got, got not the engineer is in the right place. Timing is everything, though. But approaching from behind like that, that's, not, that's a nice idea. Um... And here's my opponent's engineer. I think this guy, yeah, he's going to go over there and wait to see if he can catch the engineer out. But I've got my engineer. I'm moving forward. And I'm hoping to capture the hospital. I'm going for a more aggressive stance this time. And here we go. We're capturing my opponent. Should... Ouch. I think... Was that... Was that his own guy doing uh, force fire and, uh, and killing it? Now, I saw this force fire and he killed my engineer with it. That was very nice work, so I thought, right, I've got to fall back. He's killed my engineer. That was lovely work. Now, we've got one oil derrick each, and I thought, oh, that's not good. I've, I've lost my engineer, so I, that made this guy more important, guarding it. Now, if I see that start to flash, I thought I'll force fire over here and kill the engineer. But he's capturing the hospital. Nice. And we're both building war factories. Yeah, he's captured the hospital. And his engineer has left it there for the time being. Although his attention is there because he's moving those guys. So yeah, what's he going to do? He should go to capture this one, but it looks like he's going to escort him if he does. And you can see the healing on his troops. While they're stood still, any, any that have taken damage will get the little red cross icon and start to heal. And because I've lost my engineer, I'm hanging on to this oil derrick. And he sent a rifleman. Yeah, and he won and killed my guy. But I thought... Um, and look, he's, uh, I'll move around that way and his engineer has survived. Um, but I thought I'd send... There you go, he's survived. He's cleared him out. And he's guarding the oil derrick as well. 
hoping to catch an engineer out. And there, my opponent's capturing his second oil derrick. He's got a scout vehicle. And there's my APC. I'm just trying to see if the enemy's trying to capture it. And I didn't know what was going on, if he had an engineer in that or not. I thought, is he trying to sneak the engineer here to capture it? And I tried to head that ranger off with my infantry, but it was too quick. So my opponent's got two oil derricks in the hospital. I'm uh, having to hold on to one oil derrick. Just place my service depot. My opponent's a few seconds behind on that for some reason. And uh, I'm down there's power plant. And there's uh, my opponent clearing rifle guards away with his ranger. Let's have a look at early army values. I'm at 5,000, my opponent's at 6,000. There we go, bumped into um, <laughs> meet a light tank. It looks like I knew he'd be bringing units if I pursued him, so I thought I best not pursue him because he'll he'll have a surprise waiting for me. So I backed away and thought, right, well I'll wait here outside of view range and see if he sends an expansion, an MCV there. But he's guarding this look, so he knows I haven't captured it. If he sees an engineer going there, he can pick it off. And I saw that he's moving in, so I had to leg it. And I've got away clean. I'm moving my second MCV to a, the expansion. Now my opponent is moving his first MCV. Now the thing is he can't build structures. He's moving his home base MCV, so he can't build structures. But he's still building um, vehicles. He's building light tanks, churning them out. So he wants a light tank assault group. But why not have... He's building medium tanks, so he's not building a second MCV. He's trying to go for an early kill, I think. He's trying to churn out a assault group of light tanks to harass me with and distract me. And later he'll use an MCV. Let's have a look at our army values. I'm at 12,000, my opponent's at 13,000. And there's one light tank. He sent a couple of stray, tr stray rocket troops to obviously catch my ore trucks and he did scout with um, a light tank first look he's scouting here so he knows exactly where my forces are and where my expansions are there's a gren drop nice one that's uh, something to look forward to and let's see uh, we're at 14,900 to me 15,000 no 15,000 each now in army value my opponent's got two attack groups by the looks of it and I'm moving these to protect my MCV, but he's, yeah, he's not committed there. And I didn't know what to do, where the enemy was. I was thinking small groups must be attacking here to distract me. And then I thought, these guys have got to go this way, but I also wanted to protect that. And now here's his attack, he's killed an ore truck straight away. So it's a powerful little group. And here's his next attack. And there he goes, attacking my base defences. My M APC is behind the enemy base. And uh, my enemy's trying to flee. So I knew that I can overrun him. And there's this attack at the back. I've totally overrun that lot. Now my APC is responding to every one uh, attack move command. And I didn't want that. That was a mistake. So I've brought the Grenadier drop back. Uh, there, he's hidden those units there. That's a very good idea, because when I'm distracted, he can pick off my power plants really quickly. Now, that APC, I, really, I want to see that go this way and not be wasted in the middle of a battle where it's just going to die. There, I've got my engineer, and he's capturing that. Now, will the enemy see and kill it with force fire? But he's moved out, these guys. That's an interesting idea. Yes, I've moved the APC, look. I just want to check if my opponent can see it when it moves past. No. He can't. 
Right, now this force is attacking my expansion, but not overrunning it. He's just attacking from the side, and I've got my Grenadier drop back into place. It was lucky he didn't respond to my attack move and move through the, directly through the enemy base and get wiped out. And the enemy's moving forward with an MCV. He's finally built a second one, and it has run headlong into my army. He's going to die. Now is the time for my Grenadier drop. Get my tanks up front. He's got medium tanks and artillery, that's a threat. Now here we go, I've got my Grendrop at the back and the APC screening it, but my tanks, they can do the job. There's one enemy power plant down. And let's see what the... Ah, oh, the Eco Raid hasn't committed. Now there's another power plant about to go. Boom. I've overrun him, he's sold his war factory and that's it, he's called it. Interesting, that was a short, violent game. But yeah, that eco raid didn't commit. He must have been distracted. But I'm glad I got my uh, grenadier drop done properly. And did they all survive? Looks like I've got four left, which is good. It's nice to see a grenadier drop survive for a change. Yeah, four grenadiers. So that's cool. And uh, I'll just look up through the army graphs and stats and charts uh, for you. But um, there's the enemy graph it goes there it's dark it's ahead of my army size and then um falls behind slightly but the combat starts here by the looks of it and that's where my opponent's army army size changes i'll see if i can get show you the uh graph a little better yeah it's difficult with that color very difficult Yeah, that helps you see it a little, a little bit on the road there, look. You see it's ahead of mine in army size from four minutes to six minutes. And then it, this is obviously where combat starts. Um, yeah, it was interesting that. We were close. We were both close, basically. And then the combat started and I got the best side of it, thankfully. But I did have a drop in army value there, look. That's some losses, that is. Um, so there's the army graph for you. Here's the earnings graph. Um, yes, my opponent, it goes here like this under, and then it goes above mine over until there, where it looks like he starts to decline. Yeah, and then there's a slight increase at the end for him. Um, so there, that's the earnings graph. And my finishing army, that's, what is it, um, five heavy tanks or something? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five heavy tanks. That's that's a powerful force, five. And I've got my APC, and I've uh, replaced my engineer. He's on a mission. Look, I've captured the hospital back. I actually captured this, and I lost my first oil, Derek, but I soon would have taken this one, leaving me with two to one to the enemy, and then I would have taken that if he'd have fought on, but there's the finishing army, I've got, um, you know, there's a, there's a division there, easy, uh, here's a combat chart, I killed 98, my opponent killed 117, very nice, I've got a 15,000 army value left, uh, I lost a structure, my opponent lost a couple of structures, interesting, he shouldn't. He should have built some more. Um, but I destroyed twenty four thousand of my opponent's assets, and my opponent destroyed twenty two thousand of mine. So it was a close battle. Uh, no support powers in effect. I didn't get the radar dome up. Not enough time. It was a short game. Um, production. I'm building another war factory, so I've got my second one. That's uh, That would have been good to continue the game on. It would have been a solid situation to continue the game on because I could have placed a second war factory here or here, uh, built some more barracks or and a power plant or something. Then I would have the radar dome built soon after and I would also have at least this oil derrick as well and that's if I didn't have all of them. So it would have been a good situation to carry on the battle if my opponent had still fought on with a base here and here, say... Or maybe even if he had attacked here, just to, you know, if I would have been in a good situation to fight on if that was the case. So uh, I finished with seven ore trucks.
There's the economy tab. I earned 62. My opponent earned 60,000. Um, I've got six grand left. My opponent's got 11,000. So it would have been nice to get some thieves into action. I'm at 27 actions per minute. My opponent was at 35 actions per minute. So um, there you go. There's the basics and graphs and charts for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed those two games. Um, if you like what you saw, give us a like and a sub. And um, take good care of yourselves. And um, until next time, goodbye. Battle control terminated.